what do you think is there is there anything else do you, do you think this ecosystem can really do um or the people within the ecosystem that have influence and things like that can really do to get this bull market going you know i mean i think at this point you know as far as prices i mean we're all kind of just waiting for the rest of the market to perk up you know bitcoin was kind of the standout in the first quarter of the year we're waiting for ethereum to catch up off the announcement of the etf we were talking about that at the top of the show and obviously this ecosystem is you know we'd be lying if we didn't say it was a little dependent on ethereum which i mean is true of the you know most other layer ones and blockchains and things like that so um i'm curious kind of like just real quick your outlook here for the next year two years of this bull market um and where you kind of think this ecosystem goes from here I'm feeling both bearish and bullish. I'm bullish at the opportunity because we're so new. It's look, we can say, oh, we, it's been alive for a year. And those of us who sacrificed day one have been here for three plus years. We've mm -hmm. been in hex. We've been around even longer than that because we heard about it coming. So yep. we can say that it's been here for a long time. But in reality, a real main net product has only been here for a year, which mm. is nothing in terms of things, you know, one year, come on. So I feel bullish on the opportunity, but I do feel a bit bearish, at least in the year, you know, time frame, because I think about what's going to pump this ecosystem. Is it more protocols? Probably not. What, what do you want to do right now on Pulse Chain that we don't have? I personally can't think of anything. Now, I'm not saying there's no other cool things that we can't have. I just, what do we need? I don't, we need an Oracle, but like how much does the average person care about an Oracle? I mean, it's right. just point being. So I think, you know, we have the government suppression, the biggest rug pullers in the world, absolute mobster gangsters, right? suppressing Richard. And then you have Richard, you know, who seems to be kind of, you've seen that Homer Simpson meme. Like he goes into the bushes. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah it kind of seems like that's what Richard's doing a little bit. Not that I think he's rugging or scamming or anything in, in that respect, but I think he's probably being told by his attorneys, like, don't do anything. Like, don't give him any, any ammo. Yeah. So I kind of feel like his silence is going to be prolonged until he's, you know, the, the case settles. And if the case settles positively for him, then he's going to, be able look to talk. Yeah. Huh? It, yeah. Uh, look, look out. I mean, it's yeah, not look out. You know. it, exactly. Yeah. If it settles negative for him, who knows? Maybe one of the settlement things is he can never talk about crypto or pulse chain again. It's not something that's out of the realm of possibility. So I think I'm bearish in the short term, but bullish in the long term is my overall pulse chain outlook right now. I hear that. Yeah. I think in the short term, as far as price goes and things like that, we may not see like any kind of crazy action here for a bit, but I think you make up a, good, a great point there is like, what do we really need or what is everybody yearning for that we don't already have? Obviously, some people might be like, oh, the PulseX single sided staking and things sure, like that. Sure. But there's, you know, it's a great ecosystem. I mean, whether you're into the memes or not, I mean, it's all there. There's a lot of stuff happening there. There's volume on chain people. It's a vibrant community with a lot of things for, you know, old school hex stakers. If you still want to do five, 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 fives, or if you want to just play the meme game, whatever you want to do, there's a lot happening here. And, you know, no other decks in crypto is like Paul sucks with his buy and burn, you know? Um, and speaking of Paul sucks, speaking of your points right there, Frank Molina with a couple of great chats in the chat tonight, another guy who likes to think long-term has a great long-term outlook, very bullish long-term for the ecosystem. So, um, yeah, you, you, him, two great minds that we've had on this show that uh, echo the similar sentiments. So, um, I yeah, think and I just wonder, yeah. has anybody ever had that ruling, KG, that you know of, that they're not allowed to speak of what they are professed uh, professionals or experts in before? Are you aware of any other cases that ended that way where they weren't allowed to talk about it anymore? I can't name a case. I think one that did happen was if you guys are familiar with the Stoner Cats. I don't know if you ever heard mm. of that NFT project. No. It was actually Mila Kunis, Ashton Kutcher, Chris Rock, Vitalik, and some other old lady actress. But they huh. they created a cartoon, and the way to get access to the cartoon was to own a Stoner Cat NFT. And so each one of them, even Vitalik, was a part of it. 
right. and the SEC sued them, stole investors' money, not them, the SEC stole investors' money, which is hilarious. Right. Right, And I don't think they're allowed to speak about or propagate the narrative of stoner cats anymore. I don't know if it went as far as crypto, but there's, you know, when people get cease and desist orders, they can't, to my knowledge, they can't talk about the thing anymore. It's part right, of right. ceasing and desisting. And so, hmm. you know, yeah, and because I'm, Vitalik still talks about crypto. Obviously, exactly. So I exactly. Don't think it was that, but exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. So, I, but see, then again, Ethereum basically got deemed not a security. So, mm -hmm. it's you know maybe he can't talk about unregistered securities anymore. You, you know, you know what I mean. Right. So, like maybe that's the the loophole. And you know, I also just I want to say to to my point about we don't really need anything on chain. I don't want to discourage builders because right. an ecosystem can only stand to be more vibrant when we have more options. My point in saying that was. It's not that people don't have anything to do right now. And that's why things aren't bullish. Right. For the average crypto user, you've already got it. If you think about wanting to do it, it's there. So I, I just wanted to clear that up because I'm all builders for builders empowerment. So Right. Understood. Understood where you were coming from. Basically, what you're saying is we don't need 25 more meme coins to spread the liquidity more you know, thinner than what it already is. It's we may thin. be getting them. We may be getting them. Be careful what you wish for. Um, yeah, I yeah. know. I know. Yeah.